Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Yari. And big thank you to Mr. Jani Hakola for his presentation and feedback what he and the Burko team are looking for from Valmet OCC. We heard three important things. We heard easy operation, raw material usage, raw material yield. Mr. Hakola also explained how efficient remote access is in time of need. However, it can also be used to provide analysis for longer time uh, optimization and is an excellent tool during our continuing cooperation agreement. But we can do more. We will show you a quick demo of a virtual mill, which will get us going in operator and maintenance training. Uh, you will also see a dashboard of Valmet Industrial Internet for OCC. Uh, pulp to board optimizer is widening and will provide some further tools for efficient raw material use. Mr. Hakola also mentioned we have already worked together with yield, but we can do more in the future. Let's have a look. This virtual mill training platform demo is from our recent delivery to Mondi Rusonperok mill. The idea of a virtual mill is to get us going from the start with the efficient operator and maintenance training that can be started in real view before the machine is ready. It provides quick access to training videos later, main assembly drawings, any access to spare parts info, or whatever you may be looking for uh, after the startup as well. Mondi Rusonberok Mill, which has Valmet's complete scope of OCC board machine, is fully integrated with Valmet automation. But next, let's have a look at our industrial internet dashboard for OCC. This presented dashboard shows ongoing work at two customer mills on two different continents. We have brought forward items of interest here from production, energy, uptime and quality figures. We are also showing the incoming raw material quality. And this information is from Valmet's bale tester. This feature is uh, in use, for example, in Ranheim Norway mill, uh, which we are currently rebuilding for higher capacity. All in all, for Valmet's bale tester, there are over 30 happy customers around the world today. The fiber quality data presented here is measured by Valmet Map Q. It is an online fiber and furnish analyzer, especially uh, useful for OCC and its vari variable raw material. We can measure online fiber length, fibrillation, freeness, ash, and even dirt content. But at the end, it's, it's all about the end quality of the final product, which is the board. Let's focus on that a bit. So for a long time already, we have been able to efficiently control basis weight. Yes, weight will get you strength, but it does come with a price. When we can stabilize the system, we can achieve uh, remarkable savings by reducing that over quality. Now, the stability is not only about weight control. Uh, it is also about stabilizing the actual strength properties and strength potential of the fiber. So for some time, we have been able to efficiently control refining by measuring the fibers with map Q and controlling the, the refining so that we reach this stability of the fiber strength. But it doesn't stop here. We can take it further. We can control the uh, strength properties 
really uh, not only from fiber quality, fiber amount, but also taking into uh, the mix, the chemicals, the sizing agents, uh, uh, for example. So this is showing a pulp to, uh, pulp to paper optimizer, optimizer for SCT. What we need to do is measure and model uh, and then target our SC SCT strength. Then we select the variables to control, and this will tackle our variability. That enables us to make the shift in the target and enjoy the savings. I will show that shortly on the right-hand side. So SCT vari variability uh, is shown in the uh, beginning with this target level. Now, with the control, we can reduce the variability, and that enables us to make that shift in the target and enjoy those savings. But for the future, for the next leap in the yield that Mr. Hakola was, was looking for, let's see. So, we challenge you to challenge us to get from this somewhat reactive control to more of a proactive one. The measurement technology is all available. It is already there in the incoming bales. So when we see more ash, less strength containing raw material coming in, we can proactively compensate by a combination of increased refining, addition of strength chemicals, or tweaking the raw material recipe. And we can truly control strength and do that by optimizing at mill-wide level. What do you think? Can we do this together? I think we can. Thank you. <laughs>